Dragon Age Veilguard features woke top surgery scars, CD Projekt Red announces girls only mentorship program, Sony disappoints gamers once again by choosing to remaster Horizon Zero Dawn, and a sweet baby employee says game studios won't hire him. Welcome back to Fan TV, where we love to dissect the latest video game disasters in this woke video game industry, whilst enjoying some slice of life moments from nerd culture. And if you happen to enjoy what we do here, level up your support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It may or may not unlock a bonus piece of content, which I guarantee you do not want to miss at the end of this video. He, him, she, her, and they, them, and then your gender is man, woman, non-binary. Love that. Love the inclusivity. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Top surgery scars are also included in this for all of our trans and non-binary rooks out there. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! I absolutely was blown away by this. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see the inclusion in the game and to see yourself represented. Yes. A sickness! It is deviant! That is literally what this thing is. These people are sick. I mean, how current day can you possibly get than adding top surgery scars? We're going to ignore the fact that this is a fantasy video game. In a fantasy video game where people have magic, you still need to go under the knife to transition between a man and a woman. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. This is by far the most disgusting, blatant, agenda-pushing, narcissistic, fatherless behavior I think I've ever seen in a video game. It's only been a year since Starfield came out, and at that time, what sparked the fires of controversy was pronouns. Fast forward a year later, and now we're talking about top surgery scars in the character creation menu. This is no longer gaming. It's a catwalk for political agendas and virtue signalers. And get this, in their quest for inclusivity, they have excluded the one thing that male gamers actually appreciate. The options feel almost endless. There's even a glute slider. And yes, I gave my rook one hell of an ass. The options feel almost endless. There's even a glute slider. And yes, I gave my rook one hell of an ass. 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 Me. Crack is cheap. Six players have the highest average IQ of all gamers ever. The average IQ of gamers is 112.3, but Rainbow Six players specifically... What the hell is even that? That's quite big. Impressive. Over the past couple of years, we have seen so many companies announce programs for only certain in types of individuals, like women or non-binary people, and that is exactly what is going on with CD Projekt Red, because they have announced their fourth edition of the scholarship program they have that excludes men. This is a That Park Place article. It says CD Projekt Red, the developer of the Witcher franchise, announced the fourth year of its scholarship program that excludes men. It talks about how they announced it, uh, and it is a mentorship program which creates a community of young women in the video game development industry. Now guys, if you ever happen to find yourself wondering, whatever happened to the straight masculine males that used to run the gaming industry? Well, mentorship programs were created specifically for girls, and I'm guessing that some of these programs have probably been running for decades, which is how we end up getting activists and woke brain dead individuals running the gaming industry because they were recruited a long time ago. So then the question becomes how do we fight back when the infestation is at root level? Well that's very simple. You uproot the infestation. And how do you do that? You do that by becoming a conscientious customer. That means that you're supposed to become aware of the products that you are funding. If there's a certain product that doesn't align with your values as a customer, you simply don't buy it. And also don't allow yourself to be gaslighted and misled 
misled by rhetoric on the internet that says that the gaming industry is the best it's ever been. You guys are just being toxic. You're being insane. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the gaming industry right now. Bullshit. Bullshit. Where's he? I almost pressed the wrong button. Go to sleep, Pops. It's bedtime. It's my turn now. You had your time, old timer. That's right, and I'm gonna teabag your corpse too, bitch. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> <laughs> the part that gets me is the ah! <laughs> Please, someone has to translate what that guy said, guys. Don't leave us hanging. They almost the case, they said so. <clears throat> uh, pass. 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 Smash. We at Sony are excited to unveil our latest remaster for one of our fan favorite PlayStation exclusives. Yes, finally! I'm so excited to revisit Yarnum with updated graphics. Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time. PlayStation Studios presents Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. Wait, what? We know how much players love Horizon Zero Dawn, so that's why we're giving it a much needed update. No! Why? Why are you guys not listening to us? If any game needs an update, it's Bloodborne. This game still runs at 30 FPS on a PS5! That's criminal! We're sorry that you're not happy with our decision, and we're trying our best to listen. No, you're not! If you guys can give a remake to Demon Souls, then you can give a remake to Bloodborne. There's no excuse! We'll take your comments into consideration. In the meantime, would you be interested in a brand new PS5 Pro for $700? Will the PS5 Pro port Bloodborne to 60 FPS? Um, no. Bloodborne will remain at 30 frames per second. Huh, might need to get a PS5 Pro then. Really? No! Why is listening to your fans something that has become so difficult to do? I honestly do not understand what Sony's beef is with Bloodborne. It's almost as if they're still salty that they weren't able to buy from from software when from software was still just a little chick. Let's say that fine, Sony doesn't want with Bloodborne. You still have so many other titles more deserving of a remaster than Horizon Zero Dawn. You have Sly Cooper, you have Infamous, you have God of War, Resistance. You have a gold mine of IPs and titles that are just gathering dust. But I suppose that Sony's motto these days is if it ain't a live service or doesn't have a girl boss, I don't want it. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say. Why are you running? Why are you running? Let's let's let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Wait! <laughs> you know what I love about Warzone? You play towards your strength. If you know that you're not a specialist when it comes to gunfights, invest in legwork. It might save your life. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. There is no greater feeling of satisfaction and joy in FIFA when you decimate and dominate your friends to the point of why they either throw away the controller in frustration or they stop talking to you for the rest of the evening. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Uh, keep in mind this guy is former Sweet Baby, so he doesn't work there anymore. He kind of does his own thing now, but... He talks about his experience with developers when he interviews with them. And here's what he had to say. 
And this is in regards to his employment with Sweet Baby. Uh, there are definitely jobs that I've had where, like, people have seen, like, the fact that I worked for Sweet Baby. It's been a year since I've worked with them, and it's just like a contractual basis when I was so just, like, periodically for, like, a couple of years. People will literally be like, hey, are we going to get harassed for hiring you? And I think that really sucks, he said, that instead of, like, well, protect our employee, the employer of the potential person giving you the contract would be more concerned about that than protecting their employees kind of effed up. I know we're usually all doom and gloom on this channel, but I honestly think that this is by far one of the best news we could have possibly hoped for. The fact that companies now have to think twice before hiring you if you worked for Sweet Baby Inc. is a huge W, guys. That's a w. Because it shows that gamers have woken up to this nonsense and they've started fighting back. Sweet Baby Inc. has now become associated with bad press. And if you don't want bad press for your video game, don't hire Sweet Baby Inc. consultants. I like the sound of that. But of course, if you feel as though you could win in a battle of attrition between you versus the customer, then please be my guest. We will see who will hit bankruptcy first, you or the customer. One more thing. Okay, Mike, listen, I know what you want from me, bro, but when I get down like that, you can't get that close. Okay, nobody's stealing the car. Okay. <laughs> What's going on in here? A little office? Okay, okay, Jesus. Dude, back up, please. Oh, God, no! Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mike, I'm gonna... <laughs> Mike, I'm just gonna have to, uh, just gonna get by. I'm trying to look at the house, you know what I mean? Mike, get out of my fucking way. You fish, bug eyed looking man, get out of my way. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. Thank you. Okay, Mike. God damn it, Mike! Oh, what is this? Chess? Let's play. Let's go play chess. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, go. Look, chess board. You're a fucking nerd. Go get it. You wanna play Jenga? Okay, go play Jenga. Fucking geek. I'm on my way, bitch. Hey, Mike, please get away from me, bro. Get away. Oh, my God. Oh, he's creepy. He's following me like Michael Myers right now. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? 